Director of Law Enforcement and Counselors today at a Durham High School. It comes after two students were shot yesterday not far from campus. One of those teenagers later died. According to the Hillside Student Handbook, some select 11th and 12th graders are given an off-campus lunch pass, but the trail where the students were shot is considered to be off-limits. Cindy Bay is live in Durham with more. Cindy? Well, John and Barbara, we've been here for at least an hour and haven't seen any students leave campus yet. But what we did notice is more police presence on campus. Take a look behind me. You see that there's a marked cars in the parking lot. There was one near the school building that has just left. But one sign I did want to point out is this state of urgency sign by the entrance. It's about an upcoming play about addressing gun violence. And I talked to director Wendell Tab about the timing of all of this, especially how this shooting hits close to home. The timing of, of, of this has just hit us really, really hard, uh, which means that uh, the message of the play is so important that we got to get people out. We got to get these young people out to see the play. We got to make sure that the um, social workers, mental health professionals, uh, law enforcement, be able to have conversation with these young people is so needed. And so state of urgency will be performed at Hillside High School starting next Friday. The students have been rehearsing, but today will mark the first day they're gathering after hearing the teenager died. And so Tab says he's preparing his heart emotionally uh, to talk about it because he expects that today's rehearsal will be emotional. And we have we'll follow up with that as well as covering all angles of this shooting and bringing it to you tonight at on Witness News reporting in Durham, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Cindy, thank you. Durham Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Pascal Mubenga released a statement on the Durham shooting. He wrote, quote, I'm heartsick about the loss of one of our students. His family and loved ones are in our thoughts and prayers, but we need more than thoughts and prayers. Our students are clamoring for an end to gun violence and our community must come together to deliver it. End of quote.